and Donald Trump's lying about him. And get this, the Republican Party, the grand old party, their official Twitter feed lying about this American hero. Gene Robinson, what's happened to the Republican Party that mm -hmm. they feel they, they, they feel yeah. they have license to lie about and slander an American hero, a Navy SEAL who killed Osama bin Laden? You know, you'd have to call it a Faustian bargain. I mean, they, the party has sold yeah. its soul to, to, you know, to this. Uh, this how this, many this times, though, and how devil. low? It's, how low does it go, Gene? How I, low I, does I don't it know. go? I don't know. I mean, my column today, you know, advises once again advises Republicans, you know, to to flee this sinking ship because uh, Donald Trump is, you know, the the his whole act I think has jumped the shark, and is getting increasingly frantic and desperate and pathetic, um, and, and we see an example of him, you know, attacking uh, McRaven in this way. The idea that the official account, that an official statement from the Republican Party would. Actually this this slander, this libel uh, against McRaven is just appalling. I cannot believe that people who, who have been Republicans all their lives, who, who, who have believed in the party, who believed in the party when the party believed in something, uh, could, could stand for this um, and, and just don't just rise up in revolt and say this is not who we are. Apparently it is who you are. Apparently but, this is yeah, what you it, want. You want to you want to go it, down in this one one detail, by the way, and the, the president in his subsequent tweet says, well, I pointed it out in my book. We should rem remember that Donald Trump, A, didn't write any of his books um, and B, may not have even read all of his books. So uh, whoever his, his co-author or ghostwriter was on that book surely was the one who, who made that passing reference to Osama bin Laden. It, well, it was not done.